Keynote is a presentation software application, developed as part of the iWork productivity suite by Apple. But it is more than just a tool to create gorgeous presentations. With its powerful ready-to-use effects, Keynote allows us to create some animations fast and easily. In this video, I will be showing you how to use Keynote to animate a map, and create a smooth, scroll-on, transition effect. First, let's take a look at the map animation. Open Keynote. Keynote presentations default to the 4 to 3 aspect ratio. If you'd like to change the slide size, click document in the top right corner. Select widescreen or create your own custom slide size. Go to Insert. Click Choose, and select the map image you want to animate. This New Zealand map is from Vectizi. Vectizi offers thousands of graphics, created by vector artists all over the world. You can download their graphics for free, and even edit them directly on their website. This comes very handy, especially if you don't have any vector graphics editor on your computer. Another free online vector graphics editor is Vector. You can use it on your desktop or in your web browser to create simple, clean vector graphics. After downloading an illustration from Vectizi, simply drag and drop the SVG file to Vector. It may take a while for Vector to process the layers, but once it's done, you can edit the layers however you like. Change the file size, and export to PNG, JPG, or SVG file formats. After importing the map to your slide, let's add a text to demonstrate what the map is about. To add a build-in effect to the map image, select the image. Click Animate, and choose Add an effect for build-in. Keynote has many dazzling effects for you to choose from. And each of these effects also comes with different direction options. Do the same to the text, if you would like to add an animation to it. One of my favorites is the trace effect. In the animate sidebar, click the build order button, near the bottom of the sidebar. In Keynote, each element is called build, followed by a number, to state its order in the animation sequence. Arranging the builds in order is crucial in Keynote. In this case, the map is Build 1, and the text is Build 2. If you want the text to show up at the same time with the map, you will need to choose with Build 1. Draw a line by using the pen tool. Click to draw straight lines, and drag to draw curved lines. To toggle between straight and curved lines, simply double-click the points. To change the line style, go to Format, Style, and then select the stroke style you like. You can also adjust its thickness, color, endpoints, shadow, and opacity. Now, to animate the line, simply go to Animate, and add the Line Draw effect to the line.
Make the animation slower by increasing its duration. You can also change the direction and speed. By default, the line animation will start on click. Change it to, after build 2, and it will automatically appear after build 2 finishes. You can add a location icon from the Shapes Library. Hundreds of shapes are available from the Shapes Library in Keynote. After you add the location icon, you can add an effect to it. To make the icon shows up after the line animation is done, choose After Build 3, for the icon from Build Order window. And you've got this cool animation within just a few minutes. Another great animation you can quickly create with Keynote is, the Smooth Parallax Transition. Select all of the slides. Go to Animate, and add the Magic Move effect. Copy all the elements from the first slide. Then paste them to the second slide. Place them outside, on top of the elements on the second slide. Change each element's size, position, and rotation. Then copy all the elements from the second slide, and paste them to the first slide. Place them outside, below the elements on the first slide. Change each element's size, position, and rotation. Select slide 1, click preview, and you will see a very smooth, scroll on, transitions between the two slides. Repeat the process to other slides, and you will have a stunning image display video after exporting them in QuickTime format. To export a Keynote project, choose File, Export To. Then select the QuickTime format. From the Export Your Presentation window, you can choose a different format, or set up any additional options. Click Next. Enter a name for your file and select a folder to save it to. Click Export. Undoubtedly, Keynote cannot replace Motion 5, or, any other motion graphics tools. However, there are some animations that can be created with Keynote faster than with other tools. It helps you save time, and makes your video editing process much more simple. So, why not give it a try? I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think about Keynote, and don't forget to share and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.